Well, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, always great to have people here at the Purple WRT meeting. Um, as always, the meetings are recorded, um, so others who aren't here can uh, see it. But uh, so if that's a concern for anyone, just just let me know. Um, I didn't have much time to work on the agenda today. Um, unfortunately, I uh, have been busy. Uh, introductions, I think everybody here knows everyone, so I, th I don't think we need to do that. Uh, just talk about board farm. Um, from my end, uh, I have not had very much time. It's been a very busy week, unfortunately, um, with uh, stuff related to uh, Purple WRT and stuff related to other stuff in, in Purple. So um, I did get the... Uh, a Jenkins instance running. It's at jenkins.purplefoundation.org. Uh, I don't think it's, it's there's anything that people can do. I don't think there's a public. Um, I don't think it's really publicly viewable yet. But you know, I ran a build, um, and that works. Uh, then after that, I'm just going to have it uh, connect to the board farm and run some tests and spit out results. So uh, shouldn't be real long. Just haven't had time to do that. Unfortunately, is there anything uh, for board farm from anyone else? Um, not really. I think we're doing a very similar thing to you, though. So uh, okay, awesome. <clears throat> at the moment, I've got sort of different tasks for different members of the team, but one of them is just going through checking which tests run, and which don't, and why. Um, mm -hmm. And then another one's got a job running, and we've got a little bit of throwing artifacts around and stuff, installing mm -hmm. it automatically, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, not far off, I think. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Anyone else working on board farm right now? All right. Um, we'll move on. Uh, funding open WRT projects. Uh, people had mentioned uh, that we had uh, uh, that, that we had sent out the uh, email on Tuesday that we were asking for um, ideas for OpenWRT projects to fund. Um, so we are we are very much welcoming those. Uh, you can um, there's instructions on the wiki um, if you didn't if you didn't see it. So we are we're yeah, very I, much. I was just going to comment that uh, there's only been a couple replies so far in terms of uh, clarifications or questions or comments. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, probably we should, or I should uh, send another reminder out Monday or something just on those same develop lists to encourage people to to make sure they get busy and, and get stuff in. Yep. Because I did, I did see one, you know, feedback from a company that does some sort of, uh, you know, security and, uh, user privacy, autonomy kinds of stuff on their mm -hmm. platform and they want to give back. And I think it looks really good. Now we just need mm -hmm. more companies. Maybe Ron, maybe your company, you know, has changes that, do you guys use OpenWT, I assume? Yes. I assume that's why you're on the call. Yeah. So oh, any, correct. any companies where you've got stuff you need to maintain packages, projects, other stuff that hasn't been brought into the core, this is another good opportunity to get, momentum behind it um i wish i saw more semiconductor industry companies on this call right now because even doing your own thing and you know and claiming okay we're going to integrate this so that it's uh in the future it's more easily maintained but you know for the community for older hardware and stuff like that even, even that's a good thing to do uh on behalf of the community to get these things better supported. So hopefully more people will uh, will be thinking about how they can make contributions that improve the, the whole project and um, mm -hmm. see if we can get some of these things funded. Mm -hmm. And Eric and Kathy, do we have a date set where we'll present to the uh, overall group the projects or have the uh, people who submitted present their projects to the group? Uh, yeah, the intent was that would be the, um, let me check the calendar. I think it's 19. I think it's the, the 18th. 19th. So, yeah. 19th. 19th. Well, they're due on the 18th, and then they'd be presented at the call on the 19th. 
but they can be presented next week as well. If, yeah. If, even if people want feedback and stuff like that, uh, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yep. And, and uh, people can do that over email too. Um, just posting back to the purple WRT mailing list mm -hmm. uh, with their ideas. Uh, you know, if, if they're comfortable sharing them publicly or they can just come to us directly. All right. Okay. Well, so if you have any ideas, uh, please, please uh, uh, submit them, and we'd love to uh, love to hear some some great ideas to uh, make uh, to improve the entire OpenWRT community and project. <coughs> yeah, um, we. I'm, yeah. Sorry, Eric. I'm just chasing up um, somebody. We have we have a team in New Zealand who are doing some work, which mm, I don't, I don't know if there's something there. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we're, we're trying to chase that up. I'll try and chase it up and get you out before, uh, is it end of next week, the deadline? Uh, it's the 18th oh, is the deadline. 18th. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Bye. Awesome. Um, regulatory update, uh, not much. Uh, I know that uh, Simon Wonderlick, uh, uh, he had presented uh, on the topic at uh, Battle Mesh. I, I didn't, didn't watch the video, but I'm, I'm sure it was co recorded, but uh, he, he did present on the topic. So um, that's about that there. Uh, OpenWRT Summit is, uh, it's, uh, that, that, uh, that uh, line is actually wrong. It was, it was yesterday. Uh, this was from my, I copied the agenda from last week. Uh, the meeting went, I, I would, I, I mean, anybody who's there, I think would say it went, it went great. It was, it was a great meeting. A um, lot of, a lot of excited people um, on, uh, on planning the uh, summit. Uh, we uh, kind of uh, discussed the, the general, you know, what needs to get done going forward. Uh, the big the big action item out of that was that we are going to um, we, we're going to create a uh, a table on the wiki uh, which I have up I just need to email that information out to just kind of get ideas on on locations for potential locations and we're going to then have another meeting next week at the same time to discuss you know those uh, those what we've come up with um, whether uh, the particular which locations are best for for the conference. Um, but I think everyone would. I I mean I don't. I think everyone who was there would say it was it was a really good meeting. Yeah, um, I think there's you know the community liked it last year, and they you know we can just keep improving upon what we did, and so there was a lot of enthusiasm to continue. Oh yeah. It was very, it was a great meeting, and and that that'll be the video of that will be posted. Um, it'll be uh, it just should be posted today. I just haven't had a chance to post it. I think. Um. So the last thing, uh, Mikkel asked to uh, talk about lead. So um. I don't know if we, how we want to handle that. If we want that to be general or 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 something, but um. Is there anything you want to talk about in particular, Mikkel? Mm, not really. I just was wondering uh, what's your take on it. I'm kind of puzzled, but I like the goals, so I was wondering what everybody else thinks. Well, this is this is Art speaking for uh, Purple. Um, you know, we know and respect the core developers who have formed Lead, and we think those goals are great. But uh, frankly, we think those same goals could be accomplished within OpenWRT and that there really wasn't a, a real need to fork. I mean, we've been encouraging industry not to fork and to stay with the, the core development and uh, stay with the main path. And so we think it was um, disappointing that uh, that group chose to fork now. And so I would encourage the OpenWRT community to uh, look inward and say, hey, if those if those comments that they made about um, transparency and other things are appropriate, well, we should take them on and make sure we address them within OpenWRT. There, if those of you who followed their uh, their meeting reports, 
uh, you also saw there were some comments about Purple being just a lobbying group. And what I, I would say is that we're trying to be a bridge to industry and as such have industry support OpenWRT. So we're not, you know, just to be clear again, we're not trying to take over OpenWRT. We're not trying to uh, steer OpenWRT. We're trying to be a bridge with industry such that OpenWRT can be more broadly used. And uh, that's in part why we're asking for these uh, project ideas is because there are some ideas that have come from industry, but we also want to make sure the ideas uh, from community get supported that uh, help everyone. And so, uh, you know, we're disappointed with the, the lead thing, but uh, we'll we'll watch it. And frankly, I think we should uh, see if any of their ideas are appropriate for OpenWRT directly. Kathy, you, you had some comments of the same sort, I think, in writing. Yeah, I mean, I think I had I had my gut reaction is just like, ouch, this hurts. Uh, bad idea. I've seen it happen in Arduino, the company I just joined, and it's a real disaster. And uh, but the problem is, I don't know deeply what personality issues or what problems really resulted in it. And I think it's been a rift that's been cracking and the crack is growing over time. And I can't say why, and maybe my reaction was a little too abrupt. I don't know, but um, I just want to see people talk openly and bring things together. There's always going to be some sort of uh, motivation behind it, you know? So wh what is the deep motivation on both sides? Can they openly share that motivation so that we can understand it better? Uh, Cause I value the developers on, on the lead team, I value the developers on uh, that didn't that don't show up on the lead team, and uh, and I think that is one thing that Matthew Olivari, who I used to work with a lot, and some of the other QCA developers, but Matthew Olivari had tried to become engaged with the Open OpenWRT community from from industry side, and it was very difficult for him. So you know why is that? Why is the core team a little too closed from the outsider side? And you see on the mailing list. I see that as well, that people on the outside don't don't really understand it and they don't feel like they're given enough visibility. So if this could be a wake up call to, hey, be more public, like can the development be done directly on GitHub? Can it be done more openly like the kernel? I mean, it's it's if they want it to be an open source public distribution that's completely open managed, then then act that way. If they don't want it to be, you know, if they want it to be a distribution that's more professionally developed and managed, then they need uh, some governance, some legal, some trademarking, some all the kind of business things. And, and that may be okay too, but it's, it's not clear what, to me from the outside, what all the motivations are uh going on behind the scenes so all, all it is for the community just like the arduino community the community suffers when these fraction you know when these when there's factions and uh i whined and complained publicly <laughs> about it so i think i've i've made my points yeah now i, I think yeah, now I think I just sit back and, and watch and then encourage people to come back together. I don't know what we can do other than um, encourage uh, the rift to be sewn back together. I would uh, I would second, um, you know, obviously everything that's been said personally, but, um, you know, coming from an open source background, uh, I I would agree that I think it's um, the things, many of the goals that that lead had mentioned. Um, I personally think that I had um, either, you know, in passing or mentioned to core members of the of the team. I'm like, hey, that'd be a great idea. You know, being like having a little more clarity on on when you have releases and things like that. Um, so it's, um, I think, if anything, it it tells you know. I, I think that that OpenWRT as a as a whole, when the, you know, no matter how the how the split goes, hopefully it, it comes back together. That you know, look at these kind of um, 
issues with transparency and, and clarity and things like that and say, okay, how do we actually uh, change this and how do we have more clarity in how decisions are made and, and things like that. Um, I, 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 I completely agree that, you know, things on GitHub, putting things in GitHub would be incredibly helpful. Uh, more clarity in, on, on discussions internally and, and planning and stuff like that. And ultimately that, that helps the community long-term. So I, I don't think that, um, again, I think it was, uh, I thought it was very interesting. It was like, well, I read all the ideas that Lead had and I'm like, those, those are very reasonable ideas. Those, those probably sound like good ideas. I, I don't see why we, why that wouldn't be a good idea for OpenWRT. I'm not sure the forking part of it made, uh, was the best long-term, but. Right, and then there were actions back that I think were <laughs> uncalled for, like the dropping of yeah. the open number of team mailing. That, that just seemed like, what? Why would you do that? I didn't quite get that, yeah. but. It's, uh, I'm sure it's, I, I, you know, that doesn't excuse it. I, I, it's, there's obviously a lot of emotions on all the sides. So hopefully that can everyone can take a deep breath and, and appreciate that that's uh, where I think everyone's really on the same side on this, even though it may it's, not look like it right now. It's kind of like we need an emergency open WT summit. <laughs> Let's have it next week. Eric, are you ready? Yeah, no, if it would help. Yeah, that'd be nice, but I don't, I don't know if that's uh that's feasible. Any thanks thanks for the uh, thanks for your opinions. I'm just uh, I was just wondering whether I'm just the only one that is kind of surprised and yeah we're surprised. I, I we're surprised. We're very surprised. Um, it would yeah. be nice if we could get Hauke. Hauke used to join all these calls. It would be nice if we could get him to uh, come back or any any of the lead developers to come back. I, I don't know Joe Philip, which personally I've never talked to him or met him, but it's always seemed like a reasonable developer like the rest yeah. of them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've talked with Joe a couple times, but he I've always seemed great. So he does like that's um yeah. yeah. And if the and I agree with you know your points about you know the the openness and the objectives and the goals are all good. So why can't the, the the entire core team look at those objectives and say hey, hey how do we move forward but i think there's just too much emotion going on right now it has to yep. settle down and somebody has to you know step up and start going through each of these you know chief complaints and seeing how they can be addressed and uh, go from there i i, I mean if if anything, I, I hope that this is, um, you know, my my dream is that uh, this will will succeed in the same way the uh, node fork did, and that um, this uh, the intended the the fork kind of spurred everybody to to figure, you know, address any issues that existed, um, the issues that the that the people who forked into IOJS. Uh, had and then um ends up that people will come back together and and see the see that the problems have been fixed that uh that caused them to want to do that yeah and it seems like they need a professional facilitator to help you know keep focused on addressing the issues and not remembering past personal problems and you know, mm. it's just got to get over it that way. Like, like think of the BSDs, you know, free BSD, open DS, BSD and net BSD. It's, you can imagine it would have been much more efficient had they not had too much forking. So. Yep. Well, given the great participation we had in the um, planning meeting for the summit, maybe there is an opportunity to hold a, a mini session, a mini summit, um, to discuss, you know, what does the OpenWRT community want to do uh, in response, concrete response? So I don't know. Perhaps it's a topic you could raise at your next uh, uh, summit meeting, and mm -hmm. see if there's a group of people who might want to work on it. 
because again, it's some of that feedback is is definitely appropriate, and, and mm -hmm. uh, we could launch a, you know, with, to, together with the community, there could be a, a concerted effort to address it. Absolutely, I think that'd be a great idea. Well, we will talk about we can talk about that at the next meeting definitely. All right. Any other uh, discussion any, that uh, people want to, any thoughts? All right, well, oh, okay. Um, well, uh, if we don't have anything else you want to talk about or uh, call it a day. Thanks, Eric. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Yep. Talk to you later. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Thanks. Yep. Bye. Thanks, Bye. 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 Eric, did you say something? No. no. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought you said something, but okay. Nope. I took some notes. I'll post them and uh, oh, you'll thanks. post the meeting. Post the video. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye.